The latest footage from SpaceX, captured after Starship's flight, has been eagerly awaited by many of us. Of course, well, SpaceX just revealed the successful completion of the S-30 flight, which is nothing short of impressive. The controlled vertical landing and other accomplishments highlight the innovations at play. There's no doubt that the spacecraft exceeded the highest expectations. This incredible achievement opens the door to many possibilities. For example, NASA's Perseverance rover recently captured the stunning spectacle of a solar eclipse on Mars. The S-30 milestone brings us one step closer to a future where humans can witness the incredible sights of the Martian surface in person. Are you excited? Let's dive into today's episode of NR Studio as we unveil this incredible feat. A few days ago, SpaceX's live stream showed off the incredible landing process of the S-30. With Starlink support and an unobstructed view similar to Flight 4, the re-entry was truly remarkable. At the peak of its journey, the camera angle captured the ship as it executed its landing burn sequence. While this perspective blocks a clear view of the actual landing procedure, it's likely that just seconds later, the S-30 sinks into the ocean depths. As the camera angle shifts to a distant vantage point, we're greeted with the sight of a massive explosion, signaling the dramatic climax of the mission. At first, I didn't pay much attention to the S-30's landing procedure. However, SpaceX's latest revelation has completely changed my perspective. On X, on a, SpaceX shared a video taken from a distant perspective, apparently recorded from a buoy that was previously positioned nearby. The video is 21 seconds long, starting when the ship begins its landing burn at around T plus one hour, five minutes and 23 seconds. This aligns with the live stream as the landing burn commenced at this milestone and concluded approximately 21 seconds later, around T plus one hour, five minutes and 44 seconds. At this point, the camera on the ship lost signal due to the explosion. Thanks to the powerful engines, the S-30 appeared strikingly cool against the backdrop of the dark sky over the Indian Ocean. The trio of gimbal engines executed their functions effectively during deceleration, facilitating a controlled landing of the ship. Their performance contributed significantly to the overall safety and precision of the descent. It adeptly altered its course to navigate and achieve a vertical posture, assisted by the flaps. This mesmerizing interplay of technology and engineering was truly a spectacle to witness. As S-30 neared the ocean surface, the ship maintained a vertical orientation. The water, propelled skyward by the thrust's impact, could not eclipse the ominous silhouette of the starship looming in the background. The prospect of landing rockets vertically was once considered unfeasible, primarily due to the complexities associated with atmospheric reentry, deceleration, and controlled descent. These challenges frequently resulted in failed attempts or exorbitant recovery costs. SpaceX, on the other hand, has excelled in this technology, establishing a new benchmark that minimizes reliance on expendable components. This advancement significantly enhances the sustainability and affordability of space travel. Now, SpaceX is poised to fully realize this capability with Starship. In a recent tweet, SpaceX revealed the successful execution of the Starship's flip maneuver and landing burn during its fifth flight test. Vehicle enhancements ensured that the flaps were shielded from extreme heat, facilitating a controlled entry and precision splashdown at the designated location in the Indian Ocean. Musk previously confirmed that the ship landed precisely on target, achieving the second of its two objectives. This was evident during the flight as the spacecraft's improved heat shield components, especially the cowling, provided robust protection against the rigors of re-entry, preventing the damage seen on previous missions. The integration of the cowling with the engine system enabled the execution of the flip maneuver and facilitated a precision landing at the designated site using the vertical landing technique. The successful execution truly exceeded many expectations, especially considering the incredible journey of S-29. The achievement of S-30 goes beyond mere technical advancement. It marks a pivotal moment in our journey. It is a transformation in our approach to space exploration. In fact, this successful landing paves the way for SpaceX to explore the possibility of utilizing the Mechacilla arm for landings, similar to B-12. Musk emphasized this in his tweet, noting that Starship successfully completed a precise soft landing in the ocean, 
paving the way for a return to the launch site and potential capture by the tower arm, similar to a booster. He further emphasized that complete and rapid reusability increases the cost of access to orbit and beyond by more than 10,000%. This is a major technological breakthrough that is essential to enabling human life to thrive on multiple planets, paving the way for us to evolve into a true spacefaring civilization. While SpaceX has yet to master the craft, Musk's visionary statements point to a transformative future for the aerospace industry. Complete and rapid reusability of space rockets would revolutionize operations, allowing for increased flight speeds and significantly lowering costs. We have already seen glimpses of this with the Falcon 9. However, it is important to note that the Falcon 9 is only partially reusable. The ship heralds remarkable advancements, which are essential for high-stakes missions such as colonizing Mars. Such innovations hold the potential to transform our approach to interplanetary exploration. Musk has previously established ambitious objectives, aiming for the Super Heavy to be reflown every hour and the ship to embark on daily journeys, ultimately resulting in thousands of flights annually. He presented a comprehensive plan to deploy 10 starships, each capable of carrying over 200 tons per day. The ambitious goal is to transport a total of 1 million tons to Mars within a decade. Following the substantial achievements of Super Heavy, the subsequent phase in this initiative will involve the inaugural ship capture attempt scheduled for next year. Considering the observations made in the ship landing video, it appears quite feasible to arrange for the ship to catch the next flight. Are you excited about this? Share your thoughts in the comments below to show your support for SpaceX. Then, to stay updated on SpaceX's development journey, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring you the latest insights and updates. Certainly, here's a refined version of the text with appropriate line breaks. But of course, that's merely my perspective. SpaceX undoubtedly possesses a range of supplementary strategies tailored to support this ambitious endeavor. For example, Musk recently revealed a schedule that underscores the company's thorough planning. It is undoubtedly perplexing to accept that, despite the successful completion of Flight 5, there will be no further flights for the remainder of the year. However, in an effort to secure the upcoming ship launch plan for early next year, SpaceX may still prioritize an additional ocean landing flight to enhance reliability. In anticipation of Flight 5 last month, SpaceX successfully conducted a static fire test with the S-31. Consequently, Musk has affirmed that Flight 6 will be prepared for launch even before Flight 5 receives approval from the FAA. This statement highlights SpaceX's steadfast dedication to progress and preparedness, as well as their audacious spirit. Nevertheless, substantial work still lies ahead. Firstly, the heat shield necessitates additional enhancements to ensure the vessel's protection, especially concerning delicate components such as the flaps. The upgrades implemented in recent months have demonstrated promising effectiveness as evidenced by the flawless re-entry we observed. Additionally, while the engine has performed admirably in recent landing attempts, it requires enhancements to ensure seamless navigation and landing with the Mechazilla arm. On-site essential systems, including the orbital launch mounts, OLM, the tower, and particularly the chopsticks, require ongoing upgrades to ensure they are fully prepared to capture both stages. The intricacy of capturing both stages is considerably amplified, particularly when the vessel re-enters from orbit. Nevertheless, SpaceX can take confidence from the impressive performance of the chopsticks during the recent Super Heavy flight, establishing a robust foundation for capturing the ship. To attain optimal reusability, SpaceX must significantly improve the reliability of its Super Heavy recovery system. While success has been attained, complacency remains an impractical choice. Certain steps are yet to be optimized, and it is only by addressing these challenges that SpaceX can achieve true full reusability. This will create pathways for the rapid reusability of the Starship. Upon reaching this significant milestone, we can elevate our aspirations toward even more ambitious objectives, including lunar and Martian missions, among these celestial bodies, Mars distinctly emerges as the ultimate objective and serves as the primary impetus behind the creation of the Starship. In light of recent developments regarding Mars, NASA's latest announcement unveils even more thrilling news. 
On September 30th, the Perseverance rover noted an extraordinary solar eclipse on Mars. This extraordinary event highlighted the interesting phenomena that occurred on our neighbor's planet. Utilizing his left pillars, this mission captures extraordinary moments when Mars' moon Phobos switches between this planet and the Sun, reminiscent of the solar eclipse that we see here on Earth. In a series of charming photos, irregular Phobos shapes are clearly visible, resembling thick potatoes. Its unique contour and texture invites closer supervision, offering a glimpse of the moon surface characteristics. As two small months Mars is small, it does not have a ball shape like our moon or many other months in our solar system. Measuring about 17 miles with 14 miles with 11 miles, or 27 kilometers of 22 kilometers with 18 kilometers, Phobos orbit Mars at a very close distance, much closer than our moon to Earth, only 3,700 miles or 6,000 kilometers. Its closeness highlights the unique dynamics of Mars satellite and its relationship with this planet. Conversely, our moon orbits the Earth at an average distance of 238,855 miles or 384,400 kilometers. Remarkably, Phobos is a fast heavenly perpetrator, completing three orbits around Mars in just one day. Apart from its small size, which can cause some people to consider it as an asteroid, FOBOS is in a perfectly synchronized orbit around Mars. This extraordinary alignment classifies it as a natural satellite of the planet, similar to the Earth's moon, with his colleague, Deimos. These two months are shrouded in mystery, with enthusiasm waiting for exploration when humanity finally set foot on Mars. The new photography series that captures Phobos is not the first documentation of Rover about a solar eclipse. Previously documented this heavenly phenomenon that featured the moon extending during the sun transit in April 2022 and February 2024. Furthermore, before Rover's enthusiasm and opportunity in 2004, as well as curiosity in 2019, this extraordinary phenomenon was also observed by them. Moments like these serve as poignant reminders that the aspiration to experience these events firsthand on Mars is no longer just a distant fantasy. SpaceX's relentless progress with Starship brings us ever closer to realizing this ambitious goal, allowing future generations to set foot on the Martian surface and marvel at these wonders firsthand. I firmly believe that humanity has long harbored a dream of one day setting foot on Mars to experience these magical moments firsthand. Just a few years ago, skepticism surrounded the feasibility of such an endeavor. But with SpaceX's ambitious goals and the significant accomplishments of the Starship program, most notably the success of Flight 5, which showcased Super Heavy in the spacecraft, I am increasingly convinced that this dream is not just a distant aspiration, but a reality on the horizon. Are you ready to embark on this incredible journey? That's it for today's episode. See you in the next one.